Hi, I am Akhilesh Kumar Shivasto from ABS Engineering College, Ghazibad. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss a problem on the HackerLink platform named as Army Game. It's a simple mathematical based problem. We will try to understand this problem first. We will look at the constraints of the problems given at the HackerLink and then we will try to solve the problem there at the HackerLink itself. So let's look at the problem statement. The problem statement same says that Luke is daydreaming in math class. He has a sheet of graph paper with n rows and n columns, and he imagines that there is an army base in the east cell for a total of n dot m bases. He wants to drop supplies at strategic points on the sheet, marking each drop point with a red dot. If a base contains at least one package inside or on top of its border fence, then it is considered to be supplied. So now you, we can understand that we have been given, let's say, a piece of the paper which is being considered as the army basis. And the piece of the paper is actually divided into some cells, maybe like this. You can say that there are n rows and m columns. So there are a total of n cross m different army bases. On these army bases, we have to provide some supplies. It may be the strategic supply for their decision making. Or you can consider that there is a food supply which is being given in the form of uh, uh, the basis to feed, basis to feed, and these feed, uh, feeding items can be supplied such that the minimum supplies are to be provided and the maximum number of army bases are fed. Let's take an example to understand the concept of the maximum and the minimum. Let's say I have the army bases like this. One, two, three, and four army bases. And if I provide the supplies, if I drop the supply from air to this one, so only one is fed. In this case, if I drop the supplies to individually to each one, then I require four supplies. The same can be done like this. If I have dropped a supply here, then army bases one and two are fed. And if I drop a supply here, then army bases three and four are fed. In this case, I require two supplies. But if I give the supply at this point, then all the army bases one, two, three, four are fed. And hence, I require only one supply to fulfill the requirement of all the army bases. So we have to find out the minimum number of supplies given the number of rows and the number of columns which is representing the basis. It means we have n cross m different basis. So this is the input format for this question. The two space separated integers describing the respective values of n and m. And the output format is print a single integer denoting the minimum number of supplies that covers all the bases. Now, the same example that I have given you is given in the form of the diagram here that if you drop the supplies at the different places, you require more number of the supplies in this row. And if you drop the supply here at the center, then you require only one supply. Let's take more examples to understand this. This is a grid which is representing two rows and three columns. And we have to provide the supply. So the best way would be to give the supply here, as we already have understood. It can feed all these RP bases. And to feed the rest of the two bases, I require another supply. So it means I require two supplies here. If I had the square base where two rows are there and two columns are there, it means I require only one supply there. So how can I find out one supply with the help of the M and N 
where the value of n is 2 and m is 2 it can be thought of as i am dividing this n by 2 and i am dividing this m by 2 and then multiplying these two values so for 2 cross 2 grid it will be 2 by 2 and 2 by 2 it means 1 by 1 into 1 it means 1 supply but what if i have 2 cross 3 grid if i have a 2 cross 3 grid then 2 by 2 multiplied with 3 by 2 will actually give you 1 into 1 because 3 by 2 is in general 1 so we have the one supply but here we require two supplies to find it out we can think of like taking the upper bound of 3 by 2 and 2 by 2 which actually gives us 1 into 2 it means here i require two supplies so this actually gives some idea about how to find out the total number of supplies by dividing n with 2 and dividing m with 2 taking its upper bound and then multiplying this with 2 let's take another example to solve this let's say i have a 1 cross 4 grid so if i do 1 by 2 which is say, uh, the value of n and the value of m is 4 then 1 by 2 and 4 by 2 will actually give us the value of 0 multiplied by 2 because mathematically you know that the value of 1 by 2 integer by integer will give you 0. Mathematically it may be 0.5 but if you are doing it in the further programming 1 by 2 is the integer by integer division which will actually give you 2, it will give you 0. So this will not serve the purpose. It means while applying the division I will have to ensure that the value of 1 by 2 gives us the value 1 not 0 because if I take 1 by 2 as 1 and then 4 by 2 as 2 then 1 into 2 will be 2 which is the answer for the 1 cross 4 grid because if I supply here if I provide supply here all the RB bases are fed and then let's take the example of this one where I have 1 cross 1 grid so if I have 1 cross 1 grid then 1 by 2 and its upper bound 1 by 2 and its upper bound if I am considering that 1 by 2 is 1 and 1 by 2 is 1 so 1 into 1 will give us 1 it means I have to provide 1 supply only so we will have to ensure that if the value of n or m means the row or the column is giving us a value 1 then by dividing this with 2 should give us 1 it should not give us 0 so here is a pseudo code for this one we have the n the rows of the grid m the columns of the grid you have to find out the value of n by 2 and its seal value you have to find out the value of m by 2 and its seal value as y and then the supplies will be equals to x into y and you will finally return the supplies let us now solve this problem at the hacker rank so here is the problem and to solve this let me select a language i preferably select c language to solve this problem in which i have a function game with cell with the values n and m and i have to solve this so what i require here i want to find out the value of n by 2 and then I want to find out the value of m by 2. So let's take these in two different variables, x and y. Let's find out x is equals to n by 2. And I want to find out the seal value of the same. The mat.h header file is required for doing so. I also need to find out the seal value of m by 2 as y fine now what i want to say that n by 2 should give us the value which is float 
and which is not equal to zero. So to ensure that, let us divide the value n with 2.0 instead of 2, and similarly m with 2.0 instead of 2. In this case, I will be able to ensure that the integer by integer division is not performed, and I get a value which is not zero. So x and value are now storing the values of n by 2 and m by 2 and ensuring that a zero doesn't come. Finally, I need to find out the supplies. So supplies will be equals to x multiplied with y. And finally, I will return the supplies. Supplies is also an integer type of value because you can see that the function expects that the value has to be integer. So now let us run the run the code and let's see if it runs fine. You can see that the sample test case given here is passed. Now let us submit this code and see if all the test cases are passed or not. So here you can see that all the test cases which were given are now in the green color. It means that all the test cases have been passed. It means that we have solved this given problem. Thank you.